on three, two, one, and we are live right here. So, all right, so let's do a little quick share and then we can go ahead and start. Uh, let me check here. Was it, was it busy at work today? Um, right now we can a little slow. Oh yeah? Yes. Is it? Yeah, how, how, um, is it snowing over there already? Wisconsin? Yes, it is. Hold on one. <laughs> yes. It is snow right now. I mean, well, uh, we just have one much? big one, but that's it. Oh, okay. So how much is there snow on the ground right now? Yes. It's uh, everywhere. I think we have like at least four or five inches for the last five days. Okay. Okay. Yeah, the only reason I say that is like, um, so you know, I have a, an apartment unit over there. So yeah, how's that going? I, I, I would have to pay them to come and shovel the snow. So <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes. All right, that's probably the only thing. And then I have to pay for heat, right? Because we have to pay for heat you over there. Pay for heat, yeah. yeah. So, and then you have to pay for shovel, yes. Yeah. So, and uh, hopefully. Hopefully they take care of it. They don't, then I get fined by the city. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Milwaukee is like. I think you have 24 hours. I think you have 24 hours or 40, 48 hours to shovel oh. the sidewalk. Yeah, because, uh, uh, hey, welcome everybody. I know there's a few people on. Uh, we got someone special here from Wisconsin. And, uh, you know, give her a hi. Say hi to her, you know. We're going to talk about her business, which is uh, clothing alteration. So uh, give your a hello and let us know where you guys are, you know, are from too. So just so we get an idea. So, yeah. So, um, oh man, like you get 24 hours, right? So like, the, cause you know, like the city, they send, when they, they mail you a letter saying, Hey, you didn't do this. Right. So it takes more than 24 mm -hmm. hours for me to get yeah. that letter. So then automatically, I think you get fined already. So it's like a like a fail situation already. <laughs> so, yes, you have to. Yeah. So unless you're there, because I know they put a warning on the on the um, house. It says, hey, you didn't shovel your snow or you didn't cut your grass or something like that. But I think they also like send you a letter. And I live so far away. So like by the time it gets to me, it's more than 24 hours. So you know. yeah. Um, but you have some of the um, like you have uh, some of the take care of that for you right since you are so far away yeah so i, I have a uh, a property uh management company that does it but you know they have to okay. send a letter to the property manager too so it's like you know it's it'll take some time to get so they, they're not there all the time right so um yeah so it's it's just like a lose lose situation for me so i just got to keep up with the the maintenance there so uh we got we got uh, Mai says hi, you know, Lee says hi. Uh, hi. Hi, Lee. Me. <laughs> hi, Amy. Yeah. Well, say hi, hi to everybody. Yeah. So, yeah, let us know where you guys are from. Um, and we'd love to know uh, she's in Wisconsin, right? So, uh, Leaf Yang says, what's her business? Your business is clothing alteration, right? Yes, alterations, uh, clothing. Yeah. Um, uh, Lee says hi. Lee Moa says hi. I'll keep up the great work. And Victoria says hi from Green Bay. Yeah, we got some Green Bay people here. Uh, Elena, mm -hmm. she, she tags the mic. And then Don says hi from uh, Hi, Don. <laughs> Michigan. All right, let me go ahead and share one more out, and then we'll, we'll go go through with it um uh, all right so so yeah that's all i got i mean how's how's uh business doing covid like uh well, i guess we'll, we'll ask that on the show you know the business yeah we'll ask that yeah the, the business um it's a little slow i think everywhere 
Yeah. It, it's hurting everybody. Uh, oh, okay. I mean, I'll, I'll ask, I, I like to ask that in the show because um, because you are in like a mall, right? So um, that's pretty cool. Uh, like Yes, how, I'm inside the mall, yes. like to see how the mall is, is performing over there as well. So um, we got Lawrence. Lawrence says hi. And then we got two. Hi, Lawrence. Two, two the top top fan so two from minnesota so all right so uh you ready let's go and get started i mean let me go ahead and switch back to my whole small muscles here and you know we can go ahead and get started um all right everybody uh appreciate you guys joining uh this is mo hustler show 39 with uh, clothing alterations business with your your lower. Uh, you're out in Wisconsin, Milwaukee, right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. Cool. So she's yes. going today. I'd love to hear more about her business. Um, yeah, it's uh, basically. Hi, everyone. <laughs> basically, you just. I mean, what is clothing alteration? Right? It's like, is it? It's so hard to like to say it for me. Like. Is it like uh, you just you're just like I don't know cutting clothes and I mean what's another word for it? It's, a, it's like a long word. What do you guys call it? I mean, well, we tailor. Huh? Yeah, so pretty much like you know uh, we tailor clothes to fit you because um, everyone has their own body type, you know. So it, you might get something that fit you, you know, the shoulder, but maybe your body area might. Uh, might need to you know get a little fitted on on your body so when you say clothing alteration when you say hey i have a business what do you how do you would you say i have a clothing alteration is that is that what you say well business? i i tailoring i tailoring clothes okay so tailoring is is the easier way of saying because that because that's how i know it by you know tailoring kind yeah, of right so, so you can it tailored to where it fit your body it's it's more like you know um something that you you buy and only i mean if you're really lucky that you'll find something that fit you perfect but you know you know everybody does not have a perfect body um which is i am one of them um yeah and i consider it as a petite so when they say petite uh outfit you still you still have to um you know make it shorter or to make it fit you uh, okay. Some people might not like, might not have to do anything at I mean, all, and it just it, it just fit them perfect. Okay, we'll get into that. We'll get into uh, we'll get into that. But uh, yeah, so can I just call it tailoring business? <laughs> yeah, you can. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. it's so easy to say, it, say it, other than clothing alterations. Like, oh man, it's like I have to think about it and say, it, and I'm I'm like, uh, I I'm a simple minded guy, so. Or tailor, uh, so there does a <laughs> yes. tailor business out of uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and awesome, yes. and that's cool. Like, uh, tell us how you got started. I know you. I think you you dropped your job for this, right? Can you, right? Yeah. So, um, well, I've been working. I've been. I work at what calls uh, corporations for ten years, and uh, I'm really fortunate that um, I married to. Um, my in-law, my mother-in-law, uh, who is my mom now, um, she's mm -hmm. a tailoring. She's been doing that for 15 years, and I think 15 plus years. And um, at first, I was just, you know, helping her on the side. Like after work, I will come and just to help her with the customer service if I can. Um, otherwise, I mean, like I also interest on sewing too, but having her as a guy, you know, it, she is. I would say I'm I'm really lucky that I'm married to um, this family who is uh, a business mindset, like my father-in-law and my mother-in-law. Um, if you mm -hmm. want to talk about business to my father-in-law, you can go, you you will have a conversation going on, like on and on. Like he have a great idea about business. And, you know, like at first I was kind of a little scared to to have your own business. You know, you you kind of want it, but you kind of scared that oh, you know, how how do you get there? Or uh, what about if I don't like it? Or um, you know, uh, I'm I'm scared of losing that uh, paycheck, like a stable paycheck. Um, that 
you know, you kind of know, okay, every two weeks you got pay um, or you got pay like every month you got pay. What about if you go on your business and if you're not doing really successful, how are you going to make money to cover for your other expense? Um, so it got me like, oh, uh, I think I was like a year. Um, I know my mother-in-law was a like, suggest to me on helping me that, hey, you should open up uh, uh, alterations because you like doing it. But I, I say, you know, since you already have one, I can just help you. So she gave me like a wedding dress to work on on the side. So I realized that, hey, this is something that I do like to do, um, oh. not just a side job or not yeah. just a hobby, but I wanted to do as a business. So when the opportunity come where she offered me that, hey, do you want to join me? Um, we can do this together. And I say, yeah, it gave me like a whole month to to really think about it. Do I really want to quit my, you know, 10 years uh, job that I went to, um, you know, I graduate with or my degree? Um, it's a really hard decision, but I make it. And it, I'm really happy that I, I, I made the decisions. And I'm really happy that she actually um, encouraged me and, you know, um, help me wow. uh, with the business. Yeah. There. So, so if, yeah, if, what this is how I started. What was, your, you know, what was your college degree that you went to study for? In a MIS. So, in the IT department that I'm working with, a lot of, um, um, in the beginning, I was just the only girl there. Um, and then I went like uh, maybe five or six guys, which is, I enjoy because, um, I would say, you know, I do, I do miss in working at corporations, but when I shift to have your own business, you have, it just, they do or die, you know, you, you have to make it. If you don't make it, no one's there to help you. Um, so that is part of me that I kind of like it independent. Um, mm -hmm. so when I come to my business, I just say, you know, I'm on my own. I, I have to work hard and. I have to miss my weekend. I have to miss my gathering because <laughs> have your own business pretty much. That's right. You cannot have your free time no more. Yeah, you lose that. Correct. So so you went from like, you, you got your college degree, you got a awesome job at Kohl's, and then you're like, you found this new thing that you liked and you just went ahead and said, all right, I'm going to drop everything and go to this business, right? Is that, so it was that good, right? Yeah. Was that good? I guess. Trust me. Um, yeah, believe in your guts. If you believe that you can do, if you if you find something that you love and you it's a passion, you will do a good job at it, and then you'll be happy at the end. Um, wow. it, it took me a while to make the decisions. Okay, so like, so, well, I mean, you, you just. This is just recent, right? I mean, it was, it's like you just, it wasn't like you were a little kid and you're like, all right, you know, I like doing this. I like sewing, whatever, I like tailoring. You just figured this out, right? By doing this dress, is that right? A wedding dress? Well, and then you're just like, okay. I do it on the side. Yeah. So it wasn't like you, you like doing this when you're a little kid. It was, it was just like you just learned it and you're like, okay, I want to jump into this as a business. Is that correct? Sound what? Give me lost audio. You still hear me? So yeah, you still hear me here? Let, let us know. You still there? You can message me right here. So, so let's see if she can hear us. But uh, looks like she went to college, got her MIS degree, which is like a, which I got too, which is a uh, like a IT job, a IT degree. And then what happens from there is she went ahead and I think what. Can you still hear me? Are you there? Are you back? Are you back? Okay, so so let me message her quickly. But so what happened was, so she got her uh, IT. I mean, that's like a, a four year. It took me ten years to get my MIS degree. I don't know how long it took her, but um, um, let me just message her quickly. But. So. And that's a high paying degree. That's why I asked her. I mean, she's gonna drop. Yeah, she's gonna drop off. Drop off and come back. So, um, 
it took me 10 years to get my degree. I don't know <laughs> how I took hers. But um, so it's, uh, so she went, that's why I, I wanted to ask her that because uh, in my degrees, it's kind of like a, it's a pretty hard degree to get because um, you got to know computers and you got to know a little programming here and there. So she did that. And then she went ahead and I think she's still there. Uh, so then she went ahead and I guess I'm assuming that what she's doing is she's, you know, she, she, uh, she talked to, uh, when she was working with her mother-in-law and then figured it out like, oh, you know, maybe I might like this. So this is, you know, something that's pretty cool. And then she just started this business. So that's what I want to get into. So that, that would be kind of cool. Like what was her motivation behind that? So, uh, we'll wait to see if she comes back here. Um, uh, if you guys got any questions, go ahead and post below. So it looks like she might be trying to get back in right now. So, uh, so here's uh, Dua says, good job, you're, and who are we talking to? Uh, see, she, she says she misses the weekends. Yeah, I mean, having a business, um, yeah, I mean, I, I have a business right now too. I do Airbnb and, uh, you lose out on your weekends. You know, you lose out hanging out with your friends uh, when they have I mean, most of the parties that happen on the weekends. So uh, you lose out on that. Um, but you know, and, you, and for us home people, we lose out on you know, like gathering and stuff like that too. So um, because you have to keep your business up, right? So uh, let's see here. Nothing yet. She might be trying to come back in. Let me close her out here. Let's see what we do. Let me remove the source here. And put the banner back in. All right. So we'll give her a moment, see if she joins back in. I know we lost connection. Uh, oh, she's messaging me right now. But uh, you guys have any questions? Uh, we're going to talk about how she does her business. What makes. Okay. She says she's. Uh, give us a few minutes here. She's going to join back in. So we're gonna I wanna ask her like what we always do. How did you get started? You know, uh, what makes money, right? Because she does a tailoring business for like clothing. And you know, I look at I look at how they do it and it's like what, six dollars or so to tailor a particular, you know, pants or something like that. And how do you how do you make money? What's the margin? How do you make money like that, right? Um, or you know, um, and you have to like you have to pay rent so it was like six dollar jean and then what you get i mean i don't know how long it takes to do it, six you know just to like resize a pair of jeans or a pair of shirt or something like that i want to know how how they make their money on that and what's like you know what's most most profitable in that business right um i'd love to hear more about that we'll ask those that question if you guys have any questions go ahead and comment below i'll ask those questions as well because um I know we, you know, we have a lot of like uh, grandmas that that like to do these kind of stuff, and you know, maybe they do this on the side, and you know, um, you know, it might help them, right? But she's doing this as a business, so want to see what 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 profit she's getting from this kind of stuff, um, and also like, you know, is it a seasonal thing, right? So is it like, you know, Christmas? Do do we get do we get stuff, you know, if people come in, get stuff resized and stuff like that. So I'm uh, not sure. We're going to answer that kind of stuff. I got a few questions here for her. Um, if you guys got any questions, go to comment below. We're waiting for her to join back in. Let's see here. Uh, let us know where you guys are from. Uh, Elena. Elena says, how's the weather right now? Let's see. Show. The weather in Florida? It is pretty good right now. It's like in the sixties right now. Uh, nighttime drops below about fifty right now, but it's it's awesome. Uh, okay, so she's saying she has to try a different PC. So we'll give her a moment. You know, this stuff, this stuff always has issues. Technical stuff. I was having, you know, um, I do my kids. We do virtual. Um, no, we haven't. Internet issues all day today. So, but um, yeah, Florida right now is pretty cool. Pretty cool. I'm gonna have and cut some tree 
trimmed some trees today and it was like not, no sweat at all. So what's everybody doing today here? Let's see. Uh, all right, we'll do some promotions here. You guys got any promotions here? Comment below. So Doug goes, hey, don't forget to check out Jamon. Jamon does a also a clothing line. Uh, Z-A-M-H-M-O-N-G dot com. Uh, Cab, Cab says hi. Uh, Shin goes, it's home people. Have so much fun gathering anyways, too much drinking and eating for, for the better. Yeah, I mean, we're all one big, one big family, right, Shin? <laughs> so, you know, we want to, whenever there's a gathering, we want to invite everybody. So, um it's a good thing, it's a bad thing, because uh, the good thing is you get to see family, you get to hang out with them, you know. The bad thing is taking so much of your time, so you can't progress, right? Because you can't, if you're doing some sort of business, you can't, you can't work on that, right? So it's like you get a, you get, you get a pick, right? So, uh, let's see here. Oh, she's coming back in. So give her just a minute. And we're going to show her back in. Three, two, one.